I just love the ability to not look like myself, to be something outside of myself. So today I'm going to be doing a look inspired by a butterfly, so I'm going to be body painting my chest and I'm going to start off with yellow and then I'm going to fade my blue into it and that will give us a, like, a really nice green transition. In school I did kind of struggle because um, of my social background, I lived in um, a council estate, uh, my mum had me really young, I ended up being a bottom set for most things. My husband had terminal cancer, so throughout the process of TIFF and A-levels, he, well he was dying and she's helping, sorry. She's helping me with her brother. When she left, she got the highest grades. So she's a fighter. I used to run down and my mum would look at me like, oh wow, beautiful, sweetie. But I think she's probably thinking, is that my lipstick and why are you just as a school? <laughs> it's, it's just crazy to think that even one person likes my work, let alone like over 400,000. As someone who like doubts myself a lot to be able to have that confidence I wouldn't have outside of looking like, I don't know, like a butterfly or when I transform into the Grinch. I think that's something that's really cool. <laughs> I've definitely had a lot of comments on my appearance, the way I choose to look. Obviously I have piercings and tattoos and my hair is bright red, so I think a lot of my comments have been, you know, sort of like, why would you do that to yourself? It's not about that, it's how you're happy within yourself. Someone's always going to have something horrible to say and I think you just have to be able to push that to one side. I think you should be whoever you want to be. And now it's time for the worst process of the makeup, which is the removal. And then I just hop in a really warm shower and hope for the best, to be honest. 